In this video, I'm going to show you how John Beast pulled the biggest upset in Madden Club Championship history. What's up, guys? My name's Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. We're about to watch a 4th and 13, ball on the 20, and John Beast with literally, this is his last, one of his last chances, last opportunities. Take a look at what he dials up. We're going to show you the exact play and practice mode here in just a second. Joke is sending the pressure. Joke's the best defensive player in Madden. And as you can see right here, John Beast gets the corner out for an absolute laser he goes crazy joke is beside himself and what unfolds is joke actually ends up beating himself one more time on the opposite side of the ball to give john beast the victory now if you've never been to the channel before i break down madden 21 tips and tricks plays that are designed to help you become a better player on offense and on defense in this game so if you have not subscribed yet i want to encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen we break down different tips different strategies just like this one we also break down pro player uh, film study sometimes it's my own stuff sometimes it's pro players concepts and things like that we've been talking about this corner route this corner route is actually um, a similar version of it is in our New England Patriots offensive ebook, which you can pick up in the description of this video. But without further ado, we're going to jump on over into practice mode here and break down what I believe to be one of the most clutch dots and one of the best lasers, and also, honestly, one of the worst defensive play calls I've ever seen from Joke, who we all look to for defense. It's what he does. Literally, he tells everyone there's defense and then there's Joke. And I was very disappointed with how he played. I think he was also very disappointed with how he played. To be honest, I felt like he overlooked his first two opponents. He looked bad in his first game. And uh, we're going to talk about that later. But what we're going to talk about right now is John B's with this play. Now, there's two versions of this play I want to cover. The first version is curl flat. And the second version is the play Z spot or Z spot and go either one of those and we'll probably just cover both of them and show you these corner routes but these corner routes are special in Madden Ultimate Team specifically if you have a wide receiver that has over 90 route running or he has a slot amatic ability on him or a route tech or something to help him get better separation it is phenomenal against man coverage the reason these corner routes are so powerful is because they don't only beat man to man coverage they also beat zone coverage there's not a a zone in the game that's going to guard them because of how well they and how sharp their cut is so we're going to jump into practice mode and break this down if you run gun bunch offset i actually have a full scheme in my text membership all you got to do is text me my numbers in the left hand corner of the screen there it's completely free if you want to get that um, it actually breaks down the full scheme we're going to show you this really quickly and i don't have double a gap booted up here so i'm just going to show it to you from nickel 335 wide it's the same concept um literally the same concept uh we'll just do this right here now what john beast did was he flipped his bunch when he got to the line of scrimmage he flipped it just like this so he was going to the wide side of the field you see this right here and this is kind of the this is kind of the look that that uh, joke was giving him this basic this basic front right here okay and we'll just show it with like this and this is this is kind of what he was doing okay so now what i want to show you here is this little route combo it's very simple it's the simplest route combo i've ever seen in madden but it's one of the best route combos in the game right now and that is to basically put Devonte adams on a smart route so you see his corner route right here you see this right here now if i flip this play it doesn't have to be flipped right but if i simply smart route this corner route this is what is the secret to this corner route right here when you smart route this thing it is it is really really hard to to guard um, the next thing that I want to show you is really what John Beast did was he basically took his backside guy and he either put him on an in route or a drag route. This was a strategy that a lot of pro players used in this game. And the reason that they were using the strategy is because they will have Deion Sanders out there. And Deion Sanders, all of us know that Deion Sanders has the playmaker ability. And so basically what they would do is if the corner route wasn't open, then they would go to the playmaker. 
Um, this is one of the most popular plays ran in the MCS. This concept right here. It's actually ironic that this was the concept that a lot of players ran because it's the same exact, very similar concept to what Skimbo ran last year. Now, in my personal opinion, one of the better ways to run this concept would be to take Valdez Scantling, put him on a streak, put Tunyon on a delay fade, and then take the running back and just simply block him or put him on a block and release pattern. That's how I would recommend running it. We've talked about this in our New England ebook, but there's, you know, this is how John Beast runs it. So I want to show you exactly what he did. So he blocked his tight end, he blocked his running back, and then what he did was he had this guy on an out route, but because he saw that Joke was going to be sending maximum pressure, uh, what John Beast did was he simply motioned Valdez Scantling over and blocked everybody. He literally blocked nine players. He only had two routes on the field. Now, Joke's coverage was as follows. Joke ran a little bit of a zone coverage look on this side. He basically ran cover two effectively, as you see right here. This was the adjustments that he had on the play. Okay, now I'm not exactly sure if that's with the right side, but this was the left side. So Joke was running cover two. I feel like that was a terrible play call. Knowing that this is one of the most popular plays that they're going to run, it doesn't make sense to me why Joke made that adjustment, but I'm sure he had good reasoning for it. I just don't understand it. But anyway, all that to say, when we motion Valdez Scantling over, it's going to pick up the pressure, and then as long as he has a really, really good release here, he's going to be able to get over. Now, he wasn't man covered in the game, so I don't know why Perry Nickerson did that. Um, we we need it's. I think it was because uh, John or Joke had man line on. Uh, so let me just jump in here and try to get the same look for you. I'm trying to show you this. Um, effectively, what we need is Perry Nickerson needs to follow Mike Evans. Um, so what we're going to do is simply blitz this guy here, right, and 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 then we're going to follow. So because because effectively this was what jo this was the look that Joe had on that side. So what you'll notice here is when I motion over, if you watch, you see that the cr the curl flat follows him. That's not what's supposed to happen. So just to show you like. Just to show you exactly what happened, and I think it's just because it's this formation, but just to show you exactly what happened, this was pretty much what happened. You had this right here, and then you had Perry Nickerson basically in man coverage on this guy who was blocking. Okay, so he was he was basically manned up. We'll just throw him in a zone over here. It's not a big deal. And then we had this blitz angle right here. This is kind of the general vibe of what Joke was doing. So this motion over really did help. Uh, John Beast, because not only was he able to pick up the pressure, he also was able to get that man coverage assignment away from the play. And what you'll notice right here is when we snap the ball, this corner route is so good against those purples. As you see, it gets right over the top of the zone drop, and there's really no, no way of defending it. Now, one of the other things that could have happened on this play is Joke could have actually been in, in traditional cover too. And I'll show you that as well. One of the other things that Joke likes to do in his defense that I've noticed, and this is very unique actually, not very many people do this, so I might need to dive in a little bit deeper into why he does this. I think he does this primarily because um, cloud flats tend to react a little bit better in zone than curl flats do, but one of the things that, that Joke will do is he'll put these at 25 and he'll put these at 5. This is kind of uh, one of the things that he'll do that's actually relatively, I think it's fairly unique. But and he'll run a lot of cover two out of that. Um, so that might have been what he was doing on this play. It actually, looking back, it, it probably was. Um, especially when I did a full breakdown of Joke's defense, which if you want to get that, that is in my text membership. Just shoot me a text message. It's got the whole defense that he runs uh, in it. But let me just show you this real quick. So this is Mike Blitz th uh, zero. We're gonna move this guy down, and then this was kind of the this was kind of the vibe here. I mean, it was basically this. And he was sending everybody. I mean, he was sending everybody at the at the passer. Um, so he only had two guys in coverage. So he had something like basically look like this, right? And John Beast was wise to it. He knew that Joke would be blitzing that extra player. So he motions over. He blocks nine. And all that leaves is a simple cover two concept. And as you can see here, it gets over the top of the cloud, right in the back corner of the end zone for a touchdown. That's the way that John Beast ran the play. That's kind of what happened. Now what I want to do is share with you a couple of other versions of the same concept that you can use in your own uh, in your own scheme. I thought John B's played very well. I really did, and I want to break down um, just another way to run it. So uh, the other the other play, if you notice Z spot, if you look at that corner route, and if you look at Z spot and go, you see they're the same. 
But if you look at curl flat, it's deeper. You see that it's a little bit deeper. In my opinion, curl flat is actually a little bit better. So when I smart route it, you see it looks like that. If I were to smart route Z spot and go, let me show you what it looks like. It looks like that too. So they're very similar in terms of how they work. But I actually really like the curl flap corner route a little bit better uh, than the other one. So we'll show you the same exact setup here um, and kind of show you what it looks like. But basically, what you saw is basically going to be the same thing. So the setup is essentially very similar. And, um, you know, we're, we're literally going to do pretty much the same thing here. Just block everybody, drag Austin. Essentially, if the corner route's not open, then he was going to playmaker Austin uh, and get him open. But as you see here, this corner route gets up there as well. And as you can see, we're able to get the touchdown. So that was basically how John Beast did it. Um, John Beast, I'm telling you right now, this dude, no joke, has a legitimate chance at winning this 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 challenge. 100% has a chance at winning this challenge. This guy is good. Um, it's not a fluke that he knocked out Joke. He knocked out K-Mac. And, and he knocked out Joel CP. This guy is good. And I believe that he's got a legitimate shot at making a run here. This has been an amazing run. We're going to be talking a little bit about his defense later today. Because I was very impressed with his defense. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. Gave you a route combo that you can use and kind of maybe shed some light on some stuff for you. So thanks for watching. We'll see you on tonight's live stream. Also, for those of you that don't know, I have full uh, videos in my text membership that break down the bunch offset. Um, my number's in the description. It was also on the top left -hand corner. My number's 812-216-3644. So text me if you want to get access to the videos. Um, guys... I'm telling you what, the, the video we just released in text membership was trips tied in over an hour breakdown on it. So they're really high level schemes, really high level tips and strategies. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope it helps. And last but not least, guys, make sure to come check out our live stream tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. Thanks for your time.